This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. The picture you're looking at is me in India. I left the United States in 2007. I've traveled to about 64 countries at this time. I first kept track of my travels in a private travel blog, which I'll share with you if you like. But then I started Vagabond Budo, which gives more information about each place, cost of living, things to do, best places to stay, best restaurants, best way to get there, video walking tour, and the best travel or retire cheap to paradise locations in the world. Just click the link below this video if you'd like more information about this place. Now here's our video. First stop on the Sacred Valley tour. It's a lagoon, Pekai Lagoon or, or Pekai Lake. You can see off in the distance there, there's white capped glaciers just under 6,000 meters, which is, um, you know, something around 18, 19,000 feet. Very beautiful spot. This is Chinchero yes. in the Sacred Valley. About 40 minutes outside of Cusco. And we're at about 3,800 feet or meters. This is Chinchero. Chinchero. There's our tour guide, Richard. These are Inca ruins of a sacred place. Grupo Richard por aquí, amigos. place was built in Nowen in the 15th century. During the reign of the Inca Tupac Inca Yupanqui. ¿Quién era Tupac Inca Yupanqui? Who was Tupac Inca Yupanqui, no? Era hijo del noveno Inca Pachacute, no? Who was Tupac Inca Yupanqui was the son of Pachacute King, the most important Inca, ¿sí? El Inca más importante. ¿Por qué se le denomina el Inca más importante? Porque durante su periodo el territorio Inca se ha expandido hacia el norte y hacia el sur. People consider to Pachacute the most important king. Why? Because during the reign of the Inca Pachacute, the Inca's territory expands to the north and to the south. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? Well, ladies and gentlemen, ¿no? We can see 100% the Inca's construction. Why? In 1531, ¿no? Francisco Pizarro, the Spanish people arrived to that to Peru country, no? In 1533, to the capital of the Incas, to Cusco. And the Spanish people, ladies and gentlemen, destroyed the Incas construction. I mean, in this platform, in this, in that, in this platform, eh, Incas make ceremonies, ritual for the sun, for the mother air, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Each June 24th, in Cusco, Cuscanian people not make one escenification and the name is Inti Raimi. Inti, sun, Raimi is party, party, party for the sun, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, each June 24th. Uh -huh. Most of the people thinking this is the Adidas symbol. No, this is not Adidas symbol, sure. this is the coca symbol. Okay, this is the coca symbol. But the Incas use it, no? As the medicine, the coca leaves. Okay? Uh, so this is Moray. This is an Incan um, laboratory that was used to um, learn the best way to grow uh, plants uh, in various parts of the Inca Kingdom, which it went from Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Chile, um, Bolivia, it's quite a large kingdom. And so they brought in, actually brought in dirt from each of the areas around the kingdom. And the reason it's terraced like this is because 
um, there's a large temperature difference from up on these uh, the, the top here and there's a couple more of these at different elevations and so they brought in the dirt in the elevation of various parts of the kingdom and they the temperatures were based on the depth here, and they experimented to find the best way to grow plants so highly Moray. sophisticated society enjoy again this is Moray uh, Peru which is about uh, an hour outside of uh, Cusco So this is Moras uh, Town Square, probably Plaza de Armas. Cool little donkey up here and her husband and wife. And you see the gorgeous hills in the background. It's not far from More, where the um, Incas had the experimental agricultural site. And next we're going to the salt mines. So these are the salt pools of Moras. Uh, in Peru here, uh, just about an hour and a half outside of Cusco. And um, they fill these pools full of water and the sun dries the, evaporates the water and they get about 25 kg average from these pools of salt. That's Here's much a few salt of my water favorite holes. pictures we took of them around salt uh, mines. Anyway. It's, it's really a beautiful, it's a beautiful place. Beautiful view. It's Chung Hui's favorite spot on this and tour. And just Chung Hui getting her her shot. This was a crossroads for the Inca people. That, in that direction we're looking right now is the jungle. And uh, there would be trade that happened in this place I'm standing, which I won't be able to pronounce, so I'll put it on the screen. Uh, but there's a crossroads. Because that leads to the highlands, believe it or not. And then to the left you can't see right now. Uh, leads uh, towards the ocean and So this place was a sacred uh, place because it was a crossroads and uh, the Incas date from about 1300 here um, But Before that were pre-Incan societies that were that's why the construction's not as sophisticated But there's also Inca construction here This is one of my favorite uh, pieces of Inca architecture right here. It's just these huge granite uh, pieces of rock with, you can't fit a hair between them. And uh, it functions both as beauty and it's holding the wall up behind us right now. And these uh, ridges here that you see, are for summer solstice, apparently at, uh, when the sun breaks the horizon on summer, summer solstice. Uh, these cast some kind of 
perfect pattern. So anyway, this is a this is an Incan area of a pre-Incan uh, temple. Most of the work here, you can see the the rock over here is not as sophisticated. It's a pre-Incan culture stuff, but it's still a beautiful temple. We're probably an hour and a half from Cusco now and just a few hours from Machu Picchu. You really can't exaggerate this place. It's just it's just magnificent. Uh, the Spanish were able to find this place. And that's why a lot of the stones have been dismantled and uh, any of the idols have been bashed to pieces. Um, but the Machu Picchu is uh, more con um, in its original condition because uh, the Spanish were never able to find it. temple or ceremonial area, then this is the city. Of course, this is all newer construction, but it's kind of fun to see how they've maintained the flavor, the colors, and of course, these are adobe structures down here. From this site. Enjoy. Um, they're not the rock construction that the Incas and the pre Incas were using. No, see, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. No. This archaeological place, the name is Pisa. Eh? Su nombre original era Pisaca. Okay? Así como su nombre original de Cusco era Cusco, ¿no? The real name in Castaño, according to history, ¿no? Was Pisaca. But now it's Pisa. Like a Cusco, ¿no? Cusco, the real name was Cusco, but now it's Cusco. Okay? Señores, andenerías, terrazas para la agricultura. Look at guys down, the terraces, ¿no? for the agriculture, ladies and gentlemen. See, ¿Sí? la población en el tiempo de los incas más de 8, 10 millones nunca tenían problemas con la alimentación. Here are a few of our favorite pictures from Pisac. Enjoy. We're in this town called Pisa, and the police have the road blocked off. So I just thought I would film the uh, procession here. I don't know what. What the title of the procession is, or the purpose, but we're in the middle of the New Year time, and summer solstice or winter solstice I suppose so maybe it has to do with those
have that nose looked at. Thanks for listening to our video. If you enjoyed the video, please click like, leave a comment below, subscribe to Vagabond Buddha, or click the link below the, the no, in the notes below this YouTube video to find out more about this location or all of the Travel Cheap to Paradise locations uh, on Vagabond Buddha. Thank you.